The clubhouse is empty. The stadium is silent. Baseball is over in Bridgeport. But while there may not be a team on the field, there's still a Bridgeport Bluefish team off the field that's hard at work. My job is to sell sponsorships, group outings, and pretty much get the, this place prepared for the 2010 season. While some work over the phone, others work on keeping the ballpark clean, safe, and functional. Uh, if there's an emergency at the ballpark, such as a pipe breaking, um, or if there's a fan injured during a game, um, I oversee all of those things, and those things just keep piling up and just trying to stay on top of them so that they don't get built up too much. Um, the second biggest thing is basically just trying to keep this place clean. Um, 5,500 seats is, it, it's a lot. Uh, a lot of people sit back and say it's a small ballpark, but when it's only one or two people doing it, it's, it's not easy. Uh, actually, I worked in the clubhouse and I worked in uh, facility operations, which was uh, maintaining the stadium. And working in the clubhouse, you actually get to work with the players themselves. I think the Bridgeport Bluefish are a good thing. And I think more people should experience the, uh, what we have to offer, what the game of baseball has to offer here in Bridgeport. Through it all, they still enjoy playing jokes on others and having a good time. Well, uh, for our special guests, 21 and over, we have a special birthday party area. It's under the tunnel. It includes 17 kegs and a wrestling ring where you wrestle Mohawk Mike. Talk a little bit about what goes on here during the offseason. Yep. Oh, come on. While the 2009 season may have come to a close, the hard work that gets put in during the offseason ensures that these fish get to keep on swimming. In Bridgeport, Andrew Gao, QNN Sports.